Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change a front wheel bearing on this 2006 Ford Escape. If this video is helpful, can you smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below for the algorithm? It really helps out a lot. First thing we're going to do is crack the lug nuts loose, jack up the vehicle, and then take the wheel off. Now we want to take the caliper off. So we are going to take out this bolt here and this bolt right there. And then you'll be able to pry your caliper off and set it off to the side. Now you can also take your rotor off, set that off to the side. Now we are going to break loose this nut right here. Uh, this takes an inch and a quarter socket. I'm gonna have uh, Amazon links down in the description below that you can check out um, if you want to. I'll have an uh, inch and a quarter socket down there, new bearing, new hub assembly, um, and some other things you might need for this job. Getting a nice long cheater bar will definitely help you break these loose. Now what you do is you need to get this popped loose from the hub. So the best way to do that is to get a punch like this and put it in that hole and then hit the punch. If you just end up hitting this with a hammer, you can end up mushrooming out these threads and ruin the threads on here. It can be a pain to get those re-threaded and stuff. So um, I recommend this way and you might need to get your big boy hammer to get this to pop out. Now we're gonna take out these two bolts. So uh, we can slide this out and get the CV axle out of the hub. You may need to take the ABS sensor out here. So that's just take that bolt out and this will wiggle out and then you'll have, this won't be in the way when you're trying to get this out here. All right, I didn't get this all the way out but I was able to slip it past and then you can pry the CV axle out. Um, comes out a little hard, but you can get it. And then at this point, you just need to pound this thing off. So I'm just gonna get the hammer and just start beating on it. I've already beat it on it a little bit and it's starting to slide out. So just pound that thing right out. All right, now it's gonna be kind of hard to see here, but there's a snap ring right here that we need to take out. You can see there's a little hole right there. This is gonna be fun trying to get this out, but the snap ring needs to come out and then we can start pressing this bearing out. So I forgot my snap ring pliers at home. So this is, I'm at my parents' shop. This is what I did is I stuck, oops, stuck this screwdriver in here and pried this out and then took this other screwdriver and set it behind there and get it start, started the way out. And then I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers and just pull this ring right out. All right, you can rent one of these bearing pullers from like O'Reilly or AutoZone or Advanced or whatever. Um, and I'll show you how to set it up here. All right, this is what I got going here. So I took the two and seven, or 2.78 outside diameter by three quarter plate here and stuck it in right here and then stuck the threaded rod through there. And then I'm taking this second biggest sized cylinder here and this will slide like this and then this sits inside there like that you slide this on here and then you screw the nut on this end and then you just start tightening that nut and trying to keep this side from turning so you just crank that down and that'll pull that bearing right out. All right, to help keep this a little bit more solid because you're putting a ton of torque on this, I just kind of sort of reassembled it here and just stuck the bolts in. I didn't tighten the nuts down, but just to make this solid and just crank away. All right, to get the bearing all the way out, um, I ended up turning this around um, so that it, could slide out there and I ended up using this big one which I think I'm gonna regret because it slipped over the top of this hub and I think I'm gonna have to try to pound this off somehow 
but uh, there is our bearing so it is out and now we're gonna go about pressing our new one back in after we make sure that hole is clean all right so I got this hole cleaned up and I'm about ready to press this back in um, I took the biggest uh, slot there and set it so that it's flat on the back of there so it's got something to pull on and then use this big one here and just gonna press it back in so you can see there starting to press in um, so you're just gonna press this right in now that I got the bearing flat I got this 2.95 size uh, to press it in there and uh, keep going with it. All right, once you got this pressed in here, you're gonna put your new snap ring in. Again, I forgot my snap ring pliers, so I just started it over here, started pushing it in all the way around, and now that I'm almost done, just take my chisel right here and hit it with a hammer and pop it in there. Now you need to put your hub back in. You might need to use the press for this part too. Uh, you can figure that out. You've been working the press now for a little while. So um, get this pressed in there and then uh, stick your CV axle back in. Start putting it back together the way you took it apart. Um, that's about all there is to it. So if this video was helpful, smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below uh, for the algorithm. Remember to check out those Amazon links if you want. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.